this is a algebra or maybe calculus problem I don't know what we are given is that x y is real number and with this condition satisfied the absolute value x plus y is equal to the square root of this you know um, x minus one square plus y minus one square and we try to find the minimum value of x square plus y square how would you do it all right give it a try and uh, when you're ready let's continue with the solution of course the conventional method would just work from what we have and then try to find out you know minimum value either use some algebra inequality tricks or use calculus yeah. take a derivative analyze when you know what is the extreme value would be taken right so here we're given this is the condition what we can do if we were to use algebra you can do square it so that uh, this could cancel you know and you simplify this and then you try to work out what is the minimum value of x square plus y square right i think the hint is that you can use some uh, inequalities uh, to solve this problem all right i'm going to leave this as an exercise because i'm going to give you another method with geometric intuition all right so let's look at uh, what's the meaning of this condition here right what is the meaning of x absolute value y absolute value and this is probably you understand this is like if you're familiar with distance formula you know that this would represent a point x y let's say x y is somewhere right x y this would measure the distance of it right yeah and this would be the absolute value of x yeah, this this is the absolute value of x plus absolute of y which is this one right so and we try to minimize x square plus y square what is that that is the distance of this point to the origin right so this is like a square of the distance so we have geometric meanings for these quantities now how are we going to solve this problem though we try to minimize in other words we try to get find the points close to the origin here this is the origin yeah as close as possible right so that uh, it satisfy this constraint yeah so and also since the point here is at the first quadrant i claim that it is okay just consider this domain here in the first quadrant of, of, of the plane rather than the you know the whole real number here right so another thing is that uh, in this first quadrant this is can be simplified to be x plus y because it's positive so let's look at the green line here right this this line represents here represents x plus y equal a constant a if this is a zero here yeah so all the points here have have the same sum of this or in this case is equal x plus y okay notice that if you go to this quadrant this line is no longer valid you're going to be something like this you know for the for the actual function curve you know but we're going to ignore that because we try to we try to work out uh, in this quadrant here right so let's erase that All right so let's continue so since we try to satisfy the condition condition is that uh, you know the sum of absolute value in this case the first quadrant is just that this value here this value a here right this value a yeah has to equal you know i'm going to have the points here and here right or on this line where the sum is a constant a but the constraint is that uh, the distance to this one one must be the same as this constant a so in this case i may have two points here right i may have a point here is equal to a but i'm um, symmetric a point here over there there's also a and this of course is not drawn in scale but 
you got the concept, right? So you, I might have two points satisfy this constraint that uh, the you know x plus y absolute value, right, equals the distance, you know, of the x to point one one, right? Yeah. So and in this case, what is x square plus y square, which is the distance to the origin? Right. That's quite big. We try to minimize that. So we try to move this line here close to the origin. Yeah. So move closer so that uh, this value is smaller. So let's do that. And however, I claim that this a cannot be too small. Because it's too small here, we try to make, because the constraint says that we're going to have this this distance a, and here, if you do the distance here, you cannot find a point on this on this uh, straight line here, right? So any point here is going to be too big, yeah. So if 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 we get the, the shortest one will be perpendicular here, but this is far greater than than the actual value a. So a cannot be too small, all right? So when would be appropriate a so that uh, you know it's cl close as close to the origin as possible so earlier we know that uh, if this line is very close to one one then you're gonna have two points but if you move this line too far you, you cannot find any point satisfy the constraint now the minimum value i claim that is achieved when at the turning points in other words if this line here if i move close close to the to the thing so that uh, originally uh, if if the line earlier here, right? I'm gonna have two solutions. I'm gonna have like a two two points set by the constraints, and then the the distance would be would be here. I claim that this is not minimized if we move the line further, the green line here, where these two points degenerated into one point here, right? And and here the condition is that this is perpendicular to this. And this distance here, yeah, because this is one one, right? And equal to this length. All right, that's the minimum value we're looking for. In other words, this is a constraint, right? It's marked here. Okay, so this is x plus y equal a. This is point one one. So how do we find this point here? Yeah, this is x y we're looking for, right? where the distance to the origin is going to be this line here is also perpendicular so this would be you know whatever the uh, minimum value for x square plus y square right so how would you find it all right you can use algebra of course so the algebra would be what is the coordinate of this point would be this point x y here you know x y point is actually a over two a over two and the distance formula saying that this is actually a, so we have to use the formula saying that okay, a over two minus one square plus a over two minus one square, and would equal a, yeah, which is because this constraint saying that we have to equal to each other, and then once we find it, your solution would be what would be x square plus y square would be uh, you know two a square times two. That would be the minimum value, right? Which is uh, okay. This is algebra, but there is simpler way if we use geometry. Okay, so this video is all about geometry. Forget about algebra, right? So, in other words, let's look at this. What we're saying is that we need to find this a here, right? This would be a, but notice that uh, this is a triangle. This triangle is like a isosceles triangle here so assume the distance we're looking for is x right if this is x in that case uh, this a would be square root of x square root of 2 times x yeah and uh, this one would be square root of 2 times x and the whole length of course we know that is because this is square the side length is 1 and this is 1 so this whole thing x plus square root of x would equal to 
square root of 2. So x is given. x is going to be square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 plus 1. All right? So simpler than the algebra method you're going to do here. All right? So again, let's recap. So the answer is we try to find x. Yeah? The x here is the distance, minimum distance here. So, but x would satisfy that uh, square root of 2x plus x would equal to the diagonal which is square root of 2. So x would equal square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 plus 1. Of course, you're going to multiply square root of 2 minus 1 on both uh, numerator and denominator. What you get is the square root of 2 square minus 1. This is, of course, is equal to 1. So the whole thing equals square root of 2 square root of 2 minus 1 equal 2 minus square root of 2. And of course, this is x. We try to find the, um, and the x probably is, <laughs> is the wrong um, symbol here. We try to find the distance square, right? The original x square, that would be the, the minimum value would be this, this square, right? OK? So the original question is that for all the points satisfy this constraint, what is the minimum value of this? We, we know that the minimum value is where this is achieved, OK? And this point here is going to be, you know, the point that achieves the minimum. All right? So I hope you follow the steps and appreciate the, uh, using the geometry, uh, which is uh, uh, more intuitive and also is actually easier in terms of the algebra uh, to work out the uh, final answer. All right? And again, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.